What's up? This is a quick tutorial about how to use sound fonts with Logic's EXS player. And you can find tons of sound fonts online for free. And this is a quick, easy way to expand your sound library within Logic. And it doesn't cost you anything. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the internet and grab some sound fonts. And I did a quick Google search. And there's a website called Hammer Sound. And this has some ton of sound fonts on it. Some of them are good, some of them are not so good, but you know you can go through them and, and check them out. I'm just gonna grab anything here. And I'm gonna download them. Should I say I'll pick something to download it? Once it downloads, here's the important part. <clears throat> you would go to your download folder and find that I just kind of grabbed it from my download folder and put it on my desktop so it's a little bit easier to find. And here is the tricky part. You need to go to your Logic Applications folder, which is going to be in your library on your Macintosh hard drive. So I'm on my Macintosh hard drive library. Now application support. I'm going to find the logic folder and then I'm going to find the sampler instruments folder. Okay and you're going to put all your sound font files into this folder. So each time you download a sound font you're going to put it into this folder. And what I'm going to do to just kind of keep things from getting too messy I'm just going to create a new folder called sound fonts. So I'm going to create a new folder called Sound Fonts, and then this little thing is zipped up, so I'm going to unzip it. Whoops. Okay, and then I'm going to drag my Sound Font. And you know it's a Sound Font because it has a .sf2 on the end of it here. I'm going to drag that to the new folder that I created. Okay. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to open up Logic. So let me open up Logic. I have a lot of sounds in here, so this is going to take a second to, to open up. Still scanning all the instruments. Okay, let me just save my session. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the EX24. Ugh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the EX24. Okay. And now when I look through my sounds, there's going to be, and my folders look a little bit different because I have them organized kind of like the way I like them, but you'll see that sound font folder that you created. Here's mine. And there's the sound font that I put in there. And when you open it for the first time, it'll convert it. And there you got yourself some instruments.